Revelations chapter 3 verses 1. And write to the Angelos of the congregation of Sardis. This is what he says, who has with him the seven souls of the hose and the seven stars. Surely I know about your works that you have named, surely you have a reputation of being alive, but you are really dead. Revelations chapter 3 verses 2. Which is all you have left? I, don't find the works you have done exactly right in the sight of the hose. Revelations chapter 3 verses 3. So remember how you gained and heard through the guidance and kept protecting the laws and repented. If you don't wake up, I will come amongst you, like the thief and you will not know at which time I will come to you. Revelations chapter 3 verses 4. Surely you have in Sardis a few names who did not transgress from the commandments. These are those who did not defile their outer garments. They continued to wear the outer garments of the righteous. And they will walk with me in white outer garments because they deserve to be. Revelations chapter 3 verses 5. As for him who overcomes, so surely he will be dressed in white garments and I will not remove his name from the book of life. Rather I will confess his name before my Father and his heavenly host. Revelations chapter 3 verses 6. He who has an ear, let him listen to what the soul, says to the congregations. Some of them have not denied the Hossa's name nor have they defiled his commandments. Revelations chapter 3 verses 7. And write to the Angelos, messenger of the congregation of Philadelphia smiley face. Thus he says, He who is holy, he who is true, he who has the key of David, who opens so that no one can shut. Revelations chapter 3 verses 8. Surely I know about your works and this is what it is. Indeed I made in front of you an open door and no one can shut it because you have a little strength and guarded my words and did not leave my name. Revelations chapter 3 verses 9. This is it. I will give you the community of Satanas, who say that surely they are of Judah, and they are not of Judah, but are liars. This is it. I will make them come and worship at your feet so that they will know that surely I love you. Revelations chapter 3 verses 10. Because you have kept the words of my patience by living by all the scriptures. So surely I also will protect you from the time of great trials which will come upon all Thos who dwell on the planet Earth to test the inhabitants of it. Revelations chapter 3 verses 11. Here I am coming shortly to the earth in human form to dwell with and guide the faithful. So hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. Revelations chapter 3 verses 12. Him that conquer will I make a pillar in the temple of my the hose and he will come out no more. And I will write on him the name of my the hose and the name of the city of my the hose which is new Jerusalem stepping down from Orion's skies from my the hose and I will write him my new name. Revelations chapter 3 verses 13. So let him who has an ear, listen to what the soul says to the congregation. Revelations chapter 3 verses 14. And write to the Angelos of the congregation of Laodicea. This is what the faithful witness, the head of creation of the hose. Revelations chapter 3 verses 15. I know about your works, surely you are neither cold nor hot, or good nor bad. If only you were cold or hot, good or bad. Revelations chapter 3 verses 16. But because you are lukewarm, and you are neither cold nor hot so indeed I am about to spit you out of my mouth, or destroy you. Revelations chapter 3 verses 17. Because you say, surely I am rich and have already succeeded and I don't need anyone. And you don't even know that surely you are weak and unhappy, and miserable, and poor and blind and naked. Revelations chapter 3 verses 18. So I advise you to buy gold purified by fire from me so that you may become rich and have white garments to wear and not appear the shame of your nakedness. Also put some ointment, coal on your eyes so that you can see. Revelations chapter 3 verses 19. Surely everybody that I love, I rebuke and punish and straighten him out, so be zealous and repent. Revelations chapter 3 verses 20. This is it. I am standing at the door and knock. And if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will enter unto him and eat with him and he with me. Revelations chapter 3 verses 21. As for him who overcomes, I will surely give him the right to sit with me on the seat, even as I have overcome and sat with my adopted father on his seat. Revelations chapter 3 verses 22. So him who has an ear, let him listen to what the Spirit says to the congregations.